I'm Ed Ratledge, and you're watching The American Athlete. I always knew I wanted to be a pro athlete. From the time I was little, I mean, it would be like slapping God in the face to have this height and not use it for something athletic. And I remember in high school, I was gawky as all heck. You know, the basketball coach didn't want anything to do with me. I was lousy. But volleyball took me in and I was pretty good at it. Got to be 6'8 when I was a senior and just kind of stayed at that height and it's always been, you know, really helpful. I won a national championship for Al Skates at UCLA. I played a year overseas in Europe and learned that, hey, they're shrinking the court from a 30-foot court that they used indoors on the beach as well to this uh, eight meter, 26-foot-ish court. And when I heard that, I'm like, wow, that kind of makes my position really important because a blocker can take a big chunk of that if it's a small court. So I just kind of got scooped up into the main draw pretty quickly right out of college after a year overseas. We started to take things for granted after a lot of years playing on the tour and you know, taking the fact that there would be a tour for granted. And all of a sudden, you know, the recession hit and took its toll and in 2010, the tour really couldn't take that anymore. And it went under and that was a big deal. At that point, like two thirds of my family's income was based on me having you know, these tournaments that I was playing in and finishing pretty well. And all of a sudden that was gone. I had a business that, you know, that I really had to ramp up in a hurry. Luckily, I was able to. It coincided with a really big boom in participation in beach volleyball, which I've been uh, coaching adults for about 10 years now. I've been doing summer camps and tournaments, and I just kind of needed a brand that encompassed all that. You know, I've got adults, I've got kids, I've got super competitive, and I've got really recreational level play. So I set up a business in Orange County. 18 years, it's hard to like really comprehend what 18 years of being a competitive athlete is. It just boggles the mind that I've been doing it that long. I don't remember 90% of the matches I've played, but when you put a few things together and all of a sudden you're able to win a tournament, I'd have laughed in your face if you told me that I'd win a tournament at age 41. I mean, even to make a semi at that point, I'd be like, no, I'll be taking nines just like I always did, it's fine. But to win? That was absurd. I have a partner on my team, Rafu, and I looked at him early on, I'm like, wow, he's really good. I didn't know that he'd played 50 international events and medaled in like 35 of them. Boy, what a baller. We did okay, and then he helped me figure out a couple of things about you know, what I should do in terms of an offensive situation here, a defensive situation there. And all of a sudden, we're winning big in some of these games against good teams. Yeah, I got a real good partner on my team. Even at match point, I'm like, no, the team over there is too good. They're gonna come back and we're gonna lose it and it's gonna be, oh, Eddie, could have done it. Oh, too bad, you want another one of those. And, you know, I've heard that so many times and it's, it's all right. It's nice to know people like watching me play, but I, mean, I didn't even think about what would happen to my phone. It just blew up. Man. 300 messages immediately going, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. We can't believe you did it. You're so amazing. Like, that felt so good. I don't think more than one in a hundred, maybe one in a thousand people get to live their passion. I totally get to live my passion and I, I absolutely love it.